Assalamu alaikum my dear brothers and sisters. Today I want to talk to you about the last events that took place in Syria and in Turkey, the earthquake. We published a couple weeks ago that we expect an earthquake in the Syrian area. And we expect a swallowing or a sinking in the earth in a city called Havasta and Algeria. Now, what if tomorrow we wake up and we find in the news that's that sinking or the collapse happened? Are we ready for what's coming next? Or we just will look at this event and ignore it like lots of other brothers and sisters? We have duties to do because there's two schools right now. Is some The first school believes there is no such events and we are far, far away from the reappearance of the Imam. The second school that believe we are very, very close to the reappearance of the Imam. And the only proof about this would be like if that swallowing happened. Then we have to be ready for what's coming after. We have to be ready for the Sufiani. We have to be ready for the Haraj room. And before we do that, we need to remind you and remind ourselves about the events based on what the Hadith says. A Hadith say will be a swallowing or a sinking in Havasta and al -Jabiyya. Then a separation of the Syrian Kurds. Then it will be a Haraj room, which is a world war. How far we are from all these events. If the, if the first event take place, then we are very, very close to the next and the next ones. We have to educate ourselves and become ready. Yes, the Hadith said, the Imams come suddenly. That's true for the one who are not following, for the one who not knowing the events will take place before his reappearance. Peace be upon him and his family. But since we are actually like educating ourselves and reading and spreading the knowledge, it won't be suddenly toward us. Yes, it will be suddenly to the ones who are not paying attention. But inshallah for all of us, we'll be the ones who prepare for it. The least that we can do right now, brothers and sisters, and yes, I'm speaking to myself, to you, sister, to you, brother, is to the least we can do is to get ready spread the knowledge of the Imam let the whole world know that we have an Imam that his name is Imam, his name is Al Imam Al Mahdi Al Hujat Ibn Al Hasan Salawatullah wa Salamu Alayhi as we say every single day in Dua Al Ahd Nahum Yirawnahu Ba'idan wa Nawahu Qariba they see it so far away and we see it very very close and soon so our job right now is to remember the Imam, spread the word of the Imam, let the whole world know about our Imam, spread the ne to your network, spread the word, spread the events, educate yourself and try to spread the knowledge as much as you can. Once that event takes place, lots of people will come in and believe me brothers and sisters, lots of people around us, they are actually thirsty to just know about the hadith of Ahlul Bayt. Spread it today and see the Imam is watching. The Imam knowing who is working for him and who is not. If you think about the Imam, that's a really such a blessing because now you know the Imam is thinking about you. Brothers and sisters, this is our duty and I'm here just to remind you and remind myself. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.